Cheers! Mm. Hello and welcome to another episode of Between Two Pines. I'm here today at the Vancouver Web Fest 2016, and with me is Susie. It's Susie Lee, right? Susie Lee. Now, Susie actually interviewed me yesterday, <laughs> so now it's my turn to pay her back. <laughs> yeah, we just uh, yeah. So, mm. Susie, you mm. are not only an interviewer; you host your own show. Oh uh, yeah, a little show. Tell me about it. Oh, I host a couple of travel shows. So. Uh, one is called West Coast Adventures TV. We've done two seasons. It's syndicated now, so we're done with it. And then uh, I do travel shows for Vancouver's North Shore Tourism as well. And so I just, um, yeah, do travel shows locally, which is really great because I love Vancouver and I want to showcase it to the world. Awesome. Now, like travel shows, what does that mean? Do you just talk about travel destinations in Vancouver? Or? Uh, well, that's a good question. So for West Coast Adventures, we would travel from May to October and we go to really popular destinations like Whistler or we would go to uh, the less traveled destinations like Bella Coola. Oh, wow. you, and it's we, uh, we traveled all over the place and I'll do I'll cover festivals, I'll interview people, I'll go skydiving, bungee jumping, and you name it. Like, there is nothing that I, I won't do. I usually, I'm a yes woman, so if my producer says, you want to do this, I'm like, oh, okay. That's, so, yeah. that's very adventurous, actually. I, I, yeah. my, my roommates have encouraged me to do things that are, like, scary more often, and uh, yeah. it seems pretty rewarding. Yeah, I mean, it's good for the show in, my, in real life. Would I do it? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm so, like, uh, no. So you're, like, an expert for, like, fun stuff to do around Vancouver? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but I've done a lot of stuff. What What are a couple things that are great to do around Vancouver if maybe you only lived here for a few years? Uh, Capilano Suspension Bridge is really fantastic all season, four seasons, which is really great because it's so beautiful. And if you're cheap, you can go to the Lynn Canyon Suspension yes, Bridge. Yes, but the thing is, though, for if you get into the Capilano Suspension Bridge, just pay once and it's good for the whole year. So oh, wow. It is like you just pay once and it's good for 365 days a year. They don't shut down ever. It's beautiful during Christmas time, beautiful during spring and summer. I mean, the hikes around there are so fabulous. So, yeah, I mean, it might be a bit pricey, but no. you could keep going back over over and over and over again as much as you want which is fantastic well actually I've been I've been I've living in I've been living in Vancouver for about five years now or well more than that but mm. I've never gone because I like I just heard the price I didn't know it worked for all year though I yeah totally yeah do all that. year so you just pay once it's good for all year another thing is I mean I like to do free stuff too because I'm sometimes I'm cheap uh, I like to hike Black Mountain at Cypress oh, wow. and I love to do that during the winter because I've never been there. yeah so then I'll, I'll hike up and then I'll scoot down I take my scoot with me and just bob down Scoot? I don't understand. Oh, it's like a little bobsled. Whoa. Awesome. That yeah, sounds yeah, so yeah. Much so fun. I do that throughout the winter, which is fantastic. So I'll do that at Cypress, Seymour, Grouse, Whistler, anywhere there where there's snow and there's a hill. I'm down it, yeah. And anyways, it was so popular. Like people, I loved it so much that people would be like, where do you get that? And I thought, oh, you know what? Why don't I just buy extra uh, sleds? And so then I bought a whole case of them and I started selling them. I'm sorry, I'm just going to interrupt. Any of you listeners or watchers who are hearing bells in the mm. background, it's because we have hawks and eagles watching us. Yeah. So, yeah. But no, okay, so that's cool. You were like, uh, so tell me, like, how did, how did it happen? How did, you, how did you get into, like, doing a travel show? I mean, I did this show because <laughs> I'm really just trying to score free beer from the local breweries, so... But you had to pay for these, I think. I did. Well, I have, <laughs> I, we only have we only have about twenty episodes out. I'm still a little too shy to go talk to a brewer. But uh, one day, I think when we get a brewer on my show, I will likely start getting sponsorship for beer. I'm hoping. Yeah, we covered a few uh, micro breweries here in Vancouver, and I got cases of beer, which was really nice. That's really great. Which was really fantastic. So yeah, so to answer your question, how I got involved was someone asked me. Well, before this, I was working in. Basically, social work for 12 years. I was working with inner city kids, sex offenders, juvenile delinquents, uh, adults in maximum security. So that's it's what like I was. My roommates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, acting, hosting, no problem, right? Because uh, I used to uh, be in social work before and uh, just got into it. Someone asked me to audition to be a host for the travel show, and I said, okay, what, whatever. I gave it my best shot. Ended up actually getting the the role, and then from there, I got the next travel show, and then I got into acting and a bit of directing and producing. So yeah, it's kind of just all facets. It just it was very organic. So yeah. as an actor, you're even already experienced hanging out with juvenile delinquents and, oh, and criminals. Oh <laughs> yeah, no problem on set. Got Done. them. Yeah, in so, my pocket. So you don't just host shows. You're also an actor, and yeah. you also create things. Yeah. So I'm an actor. But yeah. So. 
uh, one thing I usually like to do in an episode is like like get speculative. So you do like a hosting show. Yeah. Where, what like in your dream, like if, if you could, you know, if somebody was going to like give you whatever you wanted, what what would be your dream? Where the show would go? Where your your different travel shows might be? Would you be, would you want to travel all over the world? I probably want to get more into acting. Okay. Because I'm a bit of a goofball, and so I really <laughs> sometimes it's hard. I guess. Uh, being a goofball on the travel show because sometimes I have to be a bit contained or it depends what kind of travel show it is but I want to get more into acting okay so yeah uh, a little bit of a different question then what would be your dream role like I know I would okay. be like a hero in a science fiction movie <laughs> Ooh, I could see that uh, I think for me it would be action thriller because I love action thriller uh, and then also a nerdy role in a comedy. A nerdy role. Yeah, in a nerdy comedy. role in comedy. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. So, are you from Vancouver? I am from Vancouver. Oh wow. Well, I was born in Montreal, but I came here when I was four and a half. So technically, I'm a Vancouverite. Oh, I don't know. You might be a Montrealite <laughs> or Montreal. I'm not a Vancouverite, so. Where are you from? Well, and you're so nice. I mean, most people from Vancouver. Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Victoria. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're still from their region. Yeah. BC. Yeah. But this well, is my show. You're not allowed to ask me questions. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I always turn the table around somehow. Yeah, you're yeah. goofy like that. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I'm a trickster. Yeah, no, and great. So um, are there any links online, any places people can find some of your awesome stuff? Yeah, uh, you could go onto my website, which is livingyourbest.net, and I basically write about and post things on how to live your best, whether that's pursuing your dreams, overcoming your fears, um, how to have better relationships, whether it's in boyfriend, girlfriend, or uh, child and parent. So, uh, so yeah, you can go onto my website, and then my Twitter, Instagram handle is Urban Susie. And we will have those below in the comments. Mm -hmm. So you have a website to help people fulfill their dreams. Yeah, I mean that's ultimately that's what I want to use my that's what I want to use my days for, right? So basically, I don't just act and host for the sake of it. I want to make a difference in people's lives. So I do it because I want to shine my light and make a, a difference and, and help people um, from the things that I've learned in my own life, right? So that's amazing. Yeah. So basically, it's uh, act Acting isn't about fame and fortune for me. It's because I want to make a difference in people's lives, people that I come in contact with. I mean, that's ultimately my my life goal is just to make a difference in people's lives, and that's what I. Whatever you're doing, you can make a difference in people's lives. And that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, I you actually talk about helping people fulfill their dreams. Like mm. I've had a lifelong dream of growing up to become a fire truck. Do you have any advice for me? Fire tr a fire truck or a firefighter? A fire truck. A fire truck. Way better than a firefighter. That's true. Well, you you could start by getting a can of red paint, and you could like paint it all over yourself. And, and maybe then, carry a ladder around. A ladder, maybe, and then have a light right on top of your head. So I think that just for a start, I think that might really embody that feeling of being a fire truck. I think that might that's help amazing, you. Susie. Yeah. That's the best advice I've ever had for that. Yeah, Most people yeah. just tell me I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. Because you can't be anything, really. Anyone could be anything that they want to be. Even an inanimate object. Yeah, even an inanimate object. And once you look the part, you will feel the part and it'll just come. Like it'll fake just it till you make it. Fake it till you... I'm a huge advocate of that, especially actors. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. You know how to snowboard? Yeah, I know how to snowboard. Oh my gosh, I just booked it. I need to learn how to snowboard in 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, fake it till you make it. And you know what? Maybe that's the motto in life, right? Just fake it till you make it. You just have to have like this confidence that is so uh, naive. Like a naive confidence, really. That's what it is. That's that's amazing, Susie. <laughs> we're we're unfortunately out of time. No, we're not. We need to we, chug our beer. We need to chug our beer. Okay. Here we go. Are we gonna? Okay. We're gonna do a quick chug. Thanks for joining us, guys. It's been an amazing, another another special episode from the Vancouver Webfest. Susie Lee has joined me. I'm going to have all her links to all her great stuff below. You should check her out. Maybe drink along with us. We finally got some beer here. So we're drinking down here. But yeah, drink along. Leave some drunken comments below. Check out her stuff. I totally chugged it. I'm done. Oh, my God. I'm done. All right. I'm out. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> have a great day. Peace out. <laughs> I checked it a lot faster than you, dude. You're a hero. I know. I've some people tell me that. <laughs> <laughs>